Flash versus Arrow. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Andy. So as you can tell from the intro, Flash vs. Arrows is this week. So what I wanted to do is, I wanted to review Flash Volume 1 moving forward. But before I start that, I want to give credit to the people who are on this show. Arrow, oh my god, tremendously good show about survival, justice, it's dark, it's gritty, it's well acted, and there's so many hot people in that show, like god damn. Grant Gustin, he is funny, he's skinny, he's win he's witty he's you know he's really geeky i mean like he's you can see him in all of us you know he's kind of relatable and i really like them in his show let's begin on our review a flash moving forward i want to give credit to um the artists and the writers of this book you guys did a great job i'll continue reading the second volume as soon as i get money for it but it's a it's honestly a great read the art is very simple, it's clean, you'll easily get into it, everyone looks pretty, not too pretty but really stylized. When he is the Flash, that's when it starts to get a little bit more crazy, more, more creative with the art. You actually get to see Barry Allen as the Flash doing all these things and what he sees. And what I didn't expect of this book is that it actually shows more of the Flash's power. Sometimes when I when I would see Flash, I would think like, oh, he's just this guy who can run fast. No, he can do more than that. I mean, for instance, he can vibrate his molecules through objects so he wouldn't go splat on the wall. And that's pretty cool. Two, he can use his mind, like he has this Assassin's Creed Eagle Vision kind of shit, and he can just like determine all the outcomes in just a matter of seconds and then just do them. That's pretty cool. And he's generally learning about his speed force, and he has this kind of like consequences kind of thing. Like if he if he uses his speed force powers to a certain to a certain point, he's gonna disrupt like the time stream and create wormholes that are scattered all around Central City. And he has to control this power. So if he uses it too much, he he might end up destroying the city. So he has this mentality that I have to use my powers wisely, which which is really, really awesome. That scene when he has to when he has to save everyone on that boat is just like, whoa. Amazing art, it just flows right through. It's very simple, it's very easy to follow, it's just awesome. Captain Cole does make an appearance in this and he just is a badass. He doesn't use his gun anymore, he actually has real ice powers, which really turns the whole sea, he destroys a gigantic ass bow, and he's going up against the Flash and he's winning. I mean like, I don't even know how he even got all these powers. I always thought he had a gun. Even in the show, he had a gun. Maybe he might get superpowers later on, he might become a meta-human later on. I don't know. It's, it's all up to mystery. And they do an excellent job of explaining the speed force, which I never really un really understood. I mean, it's supposed to be complicated, but they really narrowed it down to what, you know, pieces need to be understood. And he actually he, he actually goes into the speed force, which is, is dimension only speedsters can only go to. So, thank you guys for watching so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and if you have any other questions you would like to ask me, just comment. I'm all here. So, thank you guys. Bye.